one in preseason from one of your own guys? Yeah, it happens. Um, there was no intent, and um, you know, he jumped right back up, and he was ready to go again. So those those things happen over uh, over an extended period. You just don't want it happening every day, and um, we're all good. That was easy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we should keep it like this, okay? Based on who <coughs> came off when from your first group, it looks like you're going to provide a lot of opportunity to uh, uh, some young guys today. Uh, it looks like you're, you know, three or maybe your top four lines, at least on paper, might not be playing. Just a thought on uh, you know, getting another look at a Yamamoto who looks to be in there and, and just some of the other younger players that are maybe uh, people have slotted possibly for the AHL. Well, there's still some players that are in camp that have played games that, that – I personally haven't had a chance to see, um, you know, because of the Calgary split and seeing them live is different than seeing them on video. So uh, they deserve the opportunity to play in those situations. They'll get that chance tonight. Uh, we are playing back-to-back -back games, so this is one of those nights where we'll give uh, a lot of the uh, on the edge guys an opportunity to to step up and separate themselves from that group. And uh, you know, if they don't do that uh, tonight, if they stay in the mix and they're um, you know, they're not uh, actively, uh, that's not a good word, they're not really pushing for a spot, then we'll be able to make some, uh, some decisions over the weekend. Obviously, we'll play the two games. We have an off day Sunday where the organization, the, the coaching staff, management, uh, some of the scouts that have been around, we can all sit and uh, discuss where we are and what our depth is like in, in certain situations, um, who we'd like to see again and who we're prepared to get on the way. Did the caliber of players that Vancouver sent to China uh, and maybe what's left here coming in tonight have anything to do with the makeup of tonight's roster? Uh, not necessarily. We would, um, you know, we would continue to plan our own camp and, and play the players that we, we feel. Um, now, with that being said, a lot of the, the Vancouver veterans are over in, uh, in China playing. Uh, they do have some NHL prospects and talent that will be in the game tonight. And, uh, I can tell you, based on our trip to Winnipeg, they had a pretty – veteran laden lineup but um, you know our young guys went in and worked pretty hard and that's usually what happens the uh, the veterans show up and the young guys work their butts off the American League players work their butts off and you find a way to win so uh, we'll have to be aware of that tonight in the game you looking for Brassois to go the full game when do you want your goalies to start going all games that'll be the plan right now and that can always change obviously is for him to go the full game tonight what have you seen maybe different from his demeanor this camp to the previous ones just a more mature approach. Um, you know, I'm a big believer that you need to almost learn how to carry yourself and how to practice at the NHL level before you become an NHL player. And um, you know, that position's pretty unique where there's only two of them. And uh, usually, as you enter the the professional ranks as a goaltender, you've been the go-to guy. You've been the guy that's played uh, a ton of games and led your team to success. And all of a sudden, you enter the pro uh, environment, and you're pushing just to stay alive. And you have to learn that. You have to learn how to manage your, your practice habits. And I'm not just talking about LB. I'm talking about goaltenders in general. And um, and uh, I think that uh, he's done those things. Against the very young lineup, does it kind of skewer the way you can evaluate your own guys? And what are you looking for tonight from, from your side? You know, we're we're at the point now where we're beginning to see and look for players playing in in structure now. Um, can they get to the right spots? Can they get it done when they get there? Uh, are their anticipation skills proper to play within our structure? We've given them enough information now to play in three zones. Um, you know, I would expect our veteran players that have been around to be sharper in those in those uh, in those areas. But some of the younger guys now have to adapt quickly. We're you know we're two weeks away from opening night, and by the time that rolls around, there are no gray areas. You got to know what your jobs are. Is, uh, it doesn't look like yes, he's playing tonight, Willie Yarby, but is he healthy right now? And will he yeah, he'll be good in uh, likely in tomorrow's game.